Hare Krishna. Inability to face life's challenges may diminish us, but unwillingness to face life's challenges will demolish us. Life is tough and when we face big challenges in our lives, we often feel ourselves unequipped or under-equipped to deal with them. Now, broadly speaking, some challenges, it's just that we can't face them, we are unable. Say, for example, if somebody can't even, ha is tone deaf and they are asked to sing or lead a musical performance, they just can't. Now, sometimes when life throws bouncers that, are, that we just can't face, we may, be we may be diminished because of our inabilities. However, inability is not as debilitating as unwillingness. The biggest challenges of life are usually the inner challenges. The challenges of facing our own mind's negativities, our, mind's, our impu mind's impurities. And for those, we don't need so much uh, ability as will. Uh, will means that we need to have that determination, the willingness to face those challenges. And if we do not have that, then that will demolish us. Because the inner, inner challenges, the inner enemies or external situations will come and go. But when external situations trigger inner negative emotions, those negative emotions may stay for a long time with us. The scars from those situations may stay for a long time. And we will be demolished because of our inner enemies, our relentless enemies. So therefore, it's important for us to uh, contextualize things properly. Let's consider at the start of the Bhagavad Gita, what happened to Arjuna. Now Arjuna is described in 146 that when he was ready to or when he was supposed to be ready to fight the biggest war of his life, he found himself so overwhelmed by indecision, by a moral confusion that he, who was the greatest warrior or archer of his times, put aside his bow out of confusion and discouragement. Japam That with his mind filled with sorrow and he put aside his bow. Arjuna's bow represents his willingness, his determination. So when he lost his will to fight, it was as bad as if he had lost the fight even without a fight. That means even without fighting, he had lost the fight. So, so now, this could have demolished him and Krishna cautioned him that even if you live, your life will be worse than death because everybody will laugh at you for uh, for what they will perceive as your cowardliness in running away from war. So actually if Arjuna had not fought at that time, it would have demolished him. Not just the Kauravas would have attacked and killed him, that was also possible. But even if that didn't happen, he would have been uh, emotionally crushed, socially humiliated and demolished by all that. So now at one level, if we don't have if suppose somebody is fighting against us and they have certain skills which we don't have and we can't fight them well that will diminish us but if somebody becomes so scared that they don't enter into the fighting ring itself then that will demolish them so for us we are all in the boxing ring the fighting ring of life already and sometimes life may throw us throw at us blows that we just don't know how to counter and that inability will hurt us, will diminish us. But as long as we keep fighting, we maintain the will to fight. And the best way to maintain the will to fight is demonstrated by Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita. That is by turning toward Krishna and relinking with Krishna. He is the source of inexhaustible power. And then we work in our particular situation, not just for the sake of improving that situation but for improving our connection with Krishna and with that purpose we will always be successful even if 
externally we can't change the situation and thus we will not be diminished or demolished but we will become elevated and realized if we work in a mood of service to Krishna irrespective of what abilities we have or don't have our will will see us through thank you